And welcome back. This is Baller Scuba again, uh, giving you another StarCraft 2 commentary. As you might have seen there, I tried to go for the split. I fail at it. Uh, <laughs> I don't go for that very often anymore. I am playing uh, as the Red Terran up here in the northeast, uh, up against Sephru, the blue Protoss in the southwest. I did say northeast, right? Yeah. All right, so I am... This is... Uh, on, once again, this is on a novice map. I promise this is the last uh, match I do in the practice league. I will, I do go for my placement matches after this. Uh, this is a relatively short game, uh, so you'll see uh, why I went uh, for that upgrade after this. As you can see, I am going for that supply depot. I went for it right at nine, uh, therefore uh, I don't get supply locked. I should so that this uh, supply depot finishes right before this SCV does, uh, so that when I train uh, the next one, it doesn't pause due to supply lock. Very important early on. Uh, he does the same, chrono boosting his probes, uh, getting those out as soon as possible. Uh, does chrono boost it again, uh, really important, uh, especially in the early game, as you can see. Uh, I am still ahead in the harvester count, though. He does catch up, though, as that uh, chrono boost does allow him to uh, out macro the uh, Terran players early on. But as you can see, the refinery going down about the same time as the barracks. Good play on my part. I am slowly getting better at this game. It does take time, though. Sefru, on the other hand. I sure hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, going for that cybernetics core. Uh, once again, that is a good move against Terrans. The Zealots... The Zealot Rush just doesn't work, even though uh, Zealots aren't that great on this map, thanks to these rocks. They are really far out there, though. Um, even room for a third expansion before you break the rocks at all. Um, as you can see, I am going for the Tech Lab once again. Uh, the MMM build has worked for me so many times before, I have no reason to believe that it won't work for me again this time. Uh, with the Protoss, I think once again that I can go for a fast expansion, so you will be seeing that coming up. I'm going for that second Supply Depot as well. Uh, as you can see, there goes some mule. No reason to scan, of course, right? Oh, just a standard build at this point. Uh, two gateways and a cybernetics core. Um, and still just doing the two uh, miners on the on the gas at this point. Um, really should be doing three. I have three, don't I? No, he's got three. Wow. I can count, I swears. There, I do get a Reaper. I wanted to go for the Reaper Harass. Um, it's not really good against Protoss, but, you know, I, after my past few games, I didn't want to do the same thing where, um, you know, I just built my army, made one big move, and that was pretty much the end of the game. So I do try to go for the Reaper Harass. Do we see another Reaper? Yes, we do. Two Reapers. Uh, once again, I am going for four Reapers total before I do move out. Uh, Sephir, on the other hand, going... What is he going here? Robotics Facility, Gateway, Gateway, four Gateways. Uh, he is uh, fast researching that warp gate. Uh, sh I wish I had scanned that. And going for the Twilight Council as well. Warp gates, uh, for those of you who don't know, are the fastest way for Protoss uh, to really rush effectively on this map on any map with uh, destructible rocks. Uh, I did look over the map. Uh, this was my first time on it. I do believe this is called... Uh, Ooh, uh, I don't remember. Uh, it's a jungle type map. You guys probably know what it is. <laughs> I'm such a noob at this game. So I do have three Reapers. Uh, getting that fourth one down, we should be seeing a move pretty soon. Uh, getting my second barracks. Uh, going for the 
uh, upgrade. Uh, I don't go for the nitro packs for the for the reapers. I'm really using them primarily as scouting and just a, a simple harass on the. Just gonna stick them into the into the the mineral line, and hope they kill a whole bunch of probes. Uh, but he, on the other hand, is going for a warp prism. Uh, very interesting. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I definitely didn't see this. I also, I mean, of course I didn't see this at this point. I have no scouting, which is why I'm sending these guys out here. I just sent him here, uh, figuring that he would not have anything here. But as soon as they come up, there goes those stalkers. I really stand no chance. Um, don't even bother moving them away at this point. Um, uh, it was just a throwaway at this point anyways. I figure he's got no way of coming in for it. At any time now, I do go for that fast expansion. We are seeing that transfer morphing into that orbital command. Uh, as his warp gate goes around the side, I really have no army at this point. Uh, not training anything. Uh, do have plenty of uh, minerals and gas to do that. I am going for the four racks here. Um, but as as I say that, uh, he even warned me ahead of time but I still have nothing nothing to deal with anything and there come in the stalkers and one zealot I do take all my SCVs try to focus down that zealot really seeing that at this point I can't get a good surround um, so I just let him stand there and die apparently there we go he moved out I can get a good surround but I, the zealots are just too strong. Uh, I send one marine out. I don't want to lose this game, but I simply have nothing to deal with it. Um, I am getting. <laughs> I spam marine marauder, marine marauder, marine marauder. Help me, give me something. I figure as long as I can keep this expansion up, that I still have a chance. Um, but seeing that uh, he's warping in more stalkers, I, I just GG. There's no way for me to come back from this. Um, so there we go. A warp prism rush. Uh, I've never seen that before in any replays. Definitely this was the first time I'd seen it in a game. Uh, have you guys seen it before? How do you deal with it? I would love to hear from it from you guys about this. Um, is this uh, relatively common in Protoss games? At this point, I've only seen it, I believe, twice. Uh, this was the first time. This was the only time that it worked against me. Uh, he did do it a lot faster, and when I didn't see it coming because of these destructible rocks. That was why, after this game, I went all for the... Uh, just to get out of the practice league, to see what I could do. If I could scout, uh, I've thought that if I could scout, I would have saw this coming. Uh, really, if I had microed my reapers better, I would have seen this coming. Uh, so, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is this was my first loss. I don't just cast my wins. I will be casting most of my losses if they are interesting. Uh, so, I hope to see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed it. See you then.